River Simple. It's the hydrogen vehicle we've all been hearing about. And it's here with various other cars. This is great. So BYD are here. You can see the EV3s over there, um, the Morgan Electric. And uh, I don't even know what that is. So I'm going to check that. It's a Westfield. Let me check that out as well. But I'm going to do some footage inside the uh, River Simple now. Right, so this is Richard from yes. River Simple. What, what do you do, Richard? I'm the programme manager, trying to take it through from concept into production. Fantastic. So tell me a little bit about the specs on this vehicle. I know it's a hydrogen fuel cell. Give me a little bit more information on it. So it's, it's actually a really small hydrogen fuel cell, eight, just eight and a half kilowatts. That's a tenth of what's going into something like the Toyota Mirai and other um, large hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. It's designed to be ultra efficient. So that fuel cell is powering four in wheel motors and those motors are capturing maximum regen back into our supercapacitors and that's what's there really to give us sort of the peak demand of acceleration and hill climb. And what kind of peak demand do you get? Um, it's, um, this, this particular car is, is sized for sort of steady state cruise of around 60 miles an hour but it's, it's nippy up to that. It's, 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 a re it's a real fun drive, yeah. fast acceleration and um, yeah we, we, we want people to, to have fun driving it. Lovely steering wheel, it already feels like it's going to be quite squirty, <laughs> you know, as a, as a kind of sports car setup, that's the kind of feeling you get sitting in here. I'm hoping I'll get a chance to have a drive or at least to sit in it later. Um, is it intended as a city vehicle? More, um, it's a, more for commuting, so it's a, it's a local car, so it's, it's, it's got a 300 mile range, but we want people to be using that sort of over a one to two week period for, um, so it's actually really ideal for someone who lives out in the country, um, commuting into a town or a city and back out again. Uh, Great. So, so say hydrogen is freely available wherever mm -hmm. you need to go, mm -hmm. you fill it up, how often do you need to get to, if you're doing a kind of regular commute, how often are you going to need to get to the hydrogen fuel station to we're, we're fill it up? One, one, to, one to two weeks. Great, so like driving an yes. economical petrol vehicle, exactly, diesel exactly. vehicle. Fantastic, okay. Can I see the doors closed? Is that possible? Yeah, sure. Can I close this one? Is that you all right? Can, you can. <laughs> oh, it's nice, yeah. So it feels really, really contained and, uh, and very special inside. Is this all carbon fibre on the roof? Is it very light? Yes, yes. So the, the, the monocoque itself is just 39 kilograms. Um, ultra lightweight, designed from the outset to make maximum use of that structure. So we use it for our cooling airflows. We spent the money on carbon fibre, so we've exposed it and used it aesthetically. Um, and it also obviously makes it an ultra safe and um, strong safety self to, to yeah. drive in. Yeah, absolutely. What did you say the weight was? 39 kilos of the monocoque. I'm going to have to go on a diet if I get on it. That is seriously light, isn't it? That's the total, total, vehicle. total car is 580 kilograms. And really? We've got ambitions to drive that lower. Really? Yeah. And will it get quicker there on? If it's that light to drive, it, it will be quite, quite squirty, I'd imagine. Yep, yeah, yeah. Just give me a little bit of idea on the setup. As I understand, there's a hydrogen fuel cell, four independent motors in the wheels? We've gone for four independent motors. Um, so that we get maximum regen and we can capture from both the front and the rear of the vehicle. Oh, that's good. So is it, when, when you come off the gas, is it going to feel like it's pulling down a lot? Um, the, the intention is no, no. Yeah. We, we will tune, tune the calibrations. And where's it being built? It's being built in Mid Wales, Clanford, Club Wales. Fantastic. And are you getting much support from oh, we, government we, and so on? We, we're getting wonderful support from, from Wales in general. It's a wonderful place to develop a car. Excellent. All right. Richard, thanks so much. Thank you. It's the river simple from the back. Looking good at the back. Nice little detail on the lights there. And underneath, it's quite high in aerodynamic. And there it is, the River Simple coming past.